Good morning, everybody. There you go. You know it's 10 o'clock, right? Hope you're having a good day so far. Grab your cup. Mm. All right. You know what? I think we should make a toast. Yes, grab your cup. Raise your cup. Make a toast. Happy ending of retrograde. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I am so happy it's over. This was a rough one, no? Did you guys not feel this one? Especially that Mercury retrograde. That thing was going to get you. Mm. Okay, happy to see everybody. Good morning, Shelby. Nice to see you. So today, uh, you know, we've been talking this whole week about being more connected, right? Finding ways to reconnect to yourself and to other people. <laughs> Tiffany, good morning, good morning. You know, I think we're going to need more than just coffee and celebration. <laughs> uh, oh, you're, at the, you're with your mom at the grocery store? Oh my God, she's with her mom at the grocery store and tuning in. <laughs> I love it. Good morning, Rachel. It's nice to see everybody this morning. Um, so in moving along with this idea of how do we reconnect with ourselves and with other people, today I was going to talk about um, today I was going to talk about triggers and how do you manage your triggers because um, they can they can really get the best of you, you know. So. Oh, good morning, Helen. You know, they can get the best of you. And those triggers, you know, they could be uh, instigated by another person or a situation, an event, uh, a memory, an anniversary. All sorts of things can trigger. But ultimately, that trigger is our responsibility. Our response to that trigger really is our responsibility and once we can kind of manage our response and accept the responsibility then we can kind of make some change around it then we can kind of go okay yes I'm being triggered but I don't have to stay in this place because normally when you're triggered it's not normally positive <laughs> it's emotional it makes you upset and angry or feeling shame or bad about yourself it's usually those lower vibrational feelings um, that you're experiencing, right? So, you know, couple things. So if you're in a situation and, and somebody else is kind of attacking you, right? Either with their words or their actions or the knife they put in your back or the gossip or um, could be your boss, you know, all of these things. You know what I'm talking, it could be a family. <laughs> You know, all of these things, right, can create these triggers for us. Um, but, you know, I think the most important thing is throw up a mirror back to them. You know, that's that's the first step. Kind of throw up a mirror back, right, so that it's deflective, you know, so that maybe they have to own what's in them, Um to make them lash out that way. And it could be like their own needs or their own fears or they're feeling something. I mean, whatever it is for them, that's true. You know, it's true for them, but it doesn't mean you have to absorb it, okay? It doesn't mean you have to absorb it. Thank you everybody for sharing. I'm seeing the shares and, and I do love that and appreciate that. So, you know, when you are feeling triggered, so you have to say, what does that mean? How do I know if I'm feeling triggered, right? You'll know you're feeling triggered because it'll be an emotional response. It will be, uh, you get angry or sad or mad or feeling bad or feeling shameful. You're going to have these emotional feelings. So that means you're being triggered, okay? Then you have to kind of say, why am I being triggered? That could be anything from, you know, it's triggering uh, an experience from childhood or it's a repeated feeling that you keep getting, um, same old, same old, all of that could be kind of creating those triggers. So what you can do is uh, take responsibility for your feelings and your emotions around that trigger. You know, why am I being triggered? Um, and, and, and acknowledge the why behind it. Um, that's going to be the first step. 
And then it's about detaching from it, right? Because you don't have to own those feelings. You don't have to own that trigger. Um, but it is knowing, hey, what did trigger it? What did create that? So detaching from it and then centering yourself, you know, taking a moment to centering yourself because otherwise you, you're really giving other people control. And if you're giving other people control, then you're not being connected to you and your own source and your own power, right? And I know it's hard. I, I get it. I get the um, wanting to rationalize and figure it out. And I, I totally understand. But when we um, sit in that place and we're giving somebody else power over that situation. So the more we can kind of take back ourselves and take back our own uh, worthiness, is that the right word? Did I say the right word? Worthiness? Worth? worth? Come on, help me out there. Worthiness. I, you know, I'm from New Jersey. We, my, we're always, uh, you, you know, always have a tendency to use the wrong word, especially in my family. We make up words in my family. I don't know about you guys. Do, do you guys make up words in your family? <laughs> We do. We love it. Um, but anyhow, if you can say to yourself, hey, wait, good morning, Nina. Um, so what you can say to yourself is, all right, this is really having me. Uh, oh, I did say the right word. Yay. <laughs> um, you can say, listen, I want to feel differently. How do I feel differently? Um, it's not just switching it up here. You know, I wish it were. We have to switch it in here. And the minute we can switch it in here, that's how we can do it, okay? That's how we can kind of make that shift. And, you know, we have to acknowledge what are we feeling, okay? So some of the words, look, you have to say, look, I wrote these down. I, well, actually, I got them off the internet, but I typed them out. So here you go. Like, am I looking for acceptance am i looking to be understood is it about respect is it about being liked being valued peacefulness balance consistency safety feeling included um you know and that's a big one feeling you know there's so many times right you'll be at work and there's the water cooler right three or four people are there and they're laughing and they're in on a joke um but they're making sure you're not included uh, you know, or, you know, clicks, 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 and, and all of that. And, you know, that you have to acknowledge I'm feeling left out. I'm feeling hurt. I mean, it's not easy to do. We don't want to acknowledge those feelings. But the minute we do, it gives us permission to release them. So the minute you can let go of um, that pride in that moment, and just surrender and saying, you know, yeah, I wish I was included. Yeah, it hurts my feelings that negative things are being said. Or, yeah, I'm feeling triggered that every time I try to talk to um, my friend, it's like they're not listening or they're not present in the moment. I mean, there's so many scenarios. When I want to talk to my partner, why is my partner not listening to me? Why are they aha, uh aha, -huh, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, and, and not really engaging in conversation? I'm feeling unloved. So whatever that is for you, it's acknowledging it. And then you kind of have to say, all right, what, what do I wish I would feel in this situation? So if you're feeling anger or, or fear or unloved or... Um, uh, unincluded, not included, isolated, <laughs> um, you know, saying how, how do I wish I would feel, you know? And so you say, you know, I, I wish I felt loved. I want to choose love. I want to choose feeling loved in this situation. So you don't change that person's actions because we can't change another person. But what we can do is change our reaction to that trigger. And that can kind of help us, okay? That can really help us do that. Um, and it is about um, knowing that we can't control our emotions. You know, when we keep trying to control our emotions, we're going to get in, in a mess. Um, we're going to be constantly worried about things and constantly in a state of like, oh, 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 worried, you know? And that's not going to help you. That's not going to help you, right? So saying, all right, I can't control my emotions. But when they come up, when they rise up, 
when they kind of blindside me, um, how can I get out of it quickly so that I don't sit in it and simmer in it and, and percolate and, and fester and, you know, because festering will be that disease that slowly eats away at you. And, and again, we don't want to give that power away. We want to hold on to it. So, um, oh, you're welcome, Melba. And so what we can do is say to ourselves, all right, how do I choose to feel? Or if there's a reaction to something, imagine how do I wish I would have reacted? How do I wish I would have handled that? Um, and replay it in your mind. And what you can do it through a slow process is that will slowly become your reaction by changing your thoughts. So even if it's after the fact, you got really mad, you got really upset, um, and it took hours to settle down, you can, um, in that moment, change your thought so that in the future it doesn't keep coming up. Um, major stress with tenants. Yeah, see, it, that's it. This is great for your mom. Um, great stress with her tenants. Yeah, because again, otherwise she'll just keep, you know, sitting and percolating in that stress. The tenants, you know, they're going to keep doing what they're doing, but how does she react to it? That can kind of help her not feel as triggered. So my friend was saying, this was a really great example. My friend was saying the other day, um, they were going to a show and they were really excited. It was a family outing. I think they were going to a movie and um, there was a, a guy in front of them with a son and they kind of couldn't see the candy because the sun was in the way. And you know how it is. For most of you, your father's not a glass maker. So they couldn't see the candy. So they just said to the little boy, oh, do you mind just standing back a little so we could we could see? And, um, you know, it was, it was a nice way of saying it. But the father of the child turned around and said he was still buying stuff. You know, why does your reaction to that need to be a negative one? Why are we not just saying, hey, wait a second. Yeah, like, let me just ask my kid to move over. Like, it's not an inconvenience. It's not an inconvenience to have someone move over, right? Um, but his trigger, his reaction to it, his reaction to that request was one of, uh, don't tell us what to do kind of a feeling. You, you all know that feeling, right? You're just trying to be, trying to say something nice, but they take it the wrong way. So then what happened is this friend then felt triggered. She was upset because it's like she was saying it nicely. Like, why are you not being nice in return? So then it sat with her, this, you know, so here she is trying to have this nice outing, this nice relaxing, watching a movie, but now she can't really enjoy the movie because it's sitting with her. It's festering with her, right? Okay, that's happened to all of us. You know, if it has, give me some hearts because I I, I know, I mean, come on, it, it's happened. I want to see hearts. <laughs> but what happens is what we can do in that moment, she can't control his response. But what she can do is say, well, wait a second. What is my response to that? Well, I felt misunderstood. I felt hurt. Um, I felt attacked and once she acknowledges that that's how she felt, she can then work on saying, well, how do I wish I had felt? Well, I wish I had felt understood. I wish it had been taken the right way. I wish I had felt appreciated, that he had appreciated me just kind of acknowledging it in the nicest way possible um, and not just shoving the kid out of the way. I mean, look, me, I probably would have shoved the kid out of the way. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of kidding. I don't know how much I'm kidding, but <laughs> like, well, I, I, I probably would have said your father's not a glass waker maker. Get out of the way. <laughs> but you know, us New Jersey people, <laughs> um, but she could just say, Hey, wait a second. I wish I had felt this way. I wish. Um, and so moving forward, you know, something like this happens again, she may just be able to kind of get to that place where those other emotions are coming through quicker, where those positive emotions are coming through quicker. So here's the deal. You can't go through life, um, not feeling triggered. Uh, I mean, that's ridiculous, honestly. Um, I don't care how Zen and Buddha and where we get with our higher self, we are human. 
we have triggers, we have experiences, we have ups, we have downs, we have emotions. You know, there seems to be this movement of saying you can't have emotions. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You're, you're supposed to have emotions. That's what makes you human. <laughs> um, it's the, you, you can't have the extreme love without the other emotions. Otherwise, how are you going to acknowledge and know what love is? Right? So, yes, you can have emotions. Yes, 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 yes. I give you permission to feel. <laughs> right? <sighs> okay, I feel better. You see, I'm getting triggered. <laughs> Y'all triggering me. No. <laughs> Um, so yes, you can have emotions and you can feel triggered, but we don't want to stay in those places because that's when it becomes unhealthy. That's when it becomes a place of not feeling good. Um, and that's when you beat yourself up or feel upset or feel angry or feel stuck. And we got to let go of that. Got to let go of that. So it's knowing it, acknowledging it taking responsibility for it, saying, how do I wish I would feel, kind of creating that scenario in your head. So reimagine that whole situation with that new response, that new feeling, that new way of looking at it. And then you will start to kind of ease it. You'll start to let it go. And lastly, you make sure you turn that mirror back on that person because, you know, they have to take responsibility as well. Through our own growth, it's, uh, it's really about taking responsibility, um, turning the mirror back so that the other person takes responsibility and just working through it. There's nothing wrong with working through your emotions. There's nothing wrong with feeling angry about something and then looking inward to say, why did that make me feel angry? You know, why, why was I triggered? And do I feel good about that? Um, odds are you may not. Um, so it's about saying, all right, well, how do I switch that? So I don't stay in that because that's like a, that's not even a neutral state. That's kind of the reverse, right? And we, we don't want to stay in reverse. So we want to keep moving forward. And it's about processing, you know, we're processing beings. We are processing beings. The soul really is all encompassing, right? Your soul is all knowing. Your soul has it, but you know, we are not just soul. And I wish we were, it'd be awesome. <laughs> be a lot easier, but we are mind and we are body. And, and that soul is part of that spirit. And so we are a puzzle. We are a puzzle. And sometimes we got to figure out what piece goes where and how do we sort it out and allowing ourselves to accept ourselves for who we are. You know, um, as long as we're learning and growing and trying to be the best person we can, there's no harm and no foul in making mistakes. Okay. We make mistakes. We, we mess up sometimes. We really do. And when we can acknowledge that and acknowledge our feelings around that and acknowledge the triggers around what's creating that, we can move out of it. We don't have to stay in it. You don't have to stay in that place. Um, cause that can really beat you up. It really, really can beat you up. And sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, things change and they move and they shift. And some of us don't like change. We want to hang on. So we may feel triggered. We may feel hit. Um, but the more that you can just acknowledge your triggers and say, all right, we're, we're in this together, mind, body, spirit. We're in it together. How do I move through it? The more you're going to find that balance. Okay. So again, this isn't telling you, you can't feel this isn't telling you not to have emotions. This isn't telling you need to be, ha. Huh? all the time because it ain't gonna happen it ain't gonna happen now that's very bad grammar I don't recommend that grammar I really don't um, but it's fun <laughs> it's fun to break the rules um, anyhow I do hope that helps okay I do hope that helps I really do you know and and stick with it 
There you go, everybody. That's your coffee with Colby for the day. Hope you had a fun day. I had fun. I had a great time. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling triggered of love. Triggered of love right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.